All right, guys, we are here to start chapter 10 of High School Story. I'm excited for it. Actually, I'm not really actually that excited for it. I feel like the majority of this episode is really just going to be hunting down the whoever vandalized the statue, which is like, could be fun, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's just jump into it. Chapter 10 to catch a culprit. The following morning, you're in the cut yard where a large group of students gather around the vandalized Ollie the Tiger statue. You hear people whispering about yesterday to run in with hearse. Caleb was telling me someone from our school did it. I heard that too. I can't believe this. Well, whoever spray painted him is gonna pay. Before you can respond, Michael storms off. You approach Myra and Lewis standing nearby next to a trash can. Poor Ollie and a Barry student. I don't get it. I bet whoever did it must feel terrible. I'd hate to have to keep a secret like that. I hope they come for it soon. Me too. It'd be for the... Why are you standing around here? Don't you all have class to attend? You mean the students around you scramble to class as the school school bell rings. Later that day before second period. Sebastian, is it true? You shut your locker and see Maria bolting down the hall, her eyes fixed on you. Is what true? I heard that Hearst didn't vandalize all of the tigers. Someone from Barry High did. If you believe the Hearst students, yeah. I'm going to get to the bottom of this and you're coming with me. Investigate with you? Yeah, cons uh, but why me? <laughs> I need your help. You were there when the Hearst students showed up. And honestly, you're the only person I can trust. Whoever did this is probably sitting right under our nose. Well, when you put it that way. Okay, I'm in. Now, before we get started, I was thinking, do we want anyone else to help us? It might be go smoother to have a third person. Who did you have in mind? Well, Emma and Aiden both strike me as especially perceptive. Caleb would also be a good pick because he knows everyone. As much as I hate to trust him with anything, Michael's clearly dedicated to the cause. I think any of them could help us catch the, our culprit. Add a third teammate to your investigation to improve your relationship with them and gain in their insight on the case. Mm. Oh, it's only 14 diamonds? <laughs> I don't think I did it last time. I must have been really low because I definitely, yeah, I didn't do it with Aiden last time when I did my Aiden run. But 14 diamonds. Well, I think I just might. <laughs> with Michael. You find Michael down the hallway, hovering uh, over Otto. You're, an, you're the artist around here. I bet you have red paint. I never ruined school property. Back off, Michael. Sorry, Adam. I just, I really want to catch this guy. It's okay. I think everyone feels that way. Michael, how about you come with us and find the real culprit? Done. This guy won't know what hit him. Oh my gosh. Michael needs to chill. Fantastic. I've got faith in the three of us. Come on, let's check out the scene of the crime. There's bound to be some clues around there. I don't want to look at the scene of crime. I'm so sad for this poor statue. You, Michael, and Maria make your way to the courtyard. The spray paint Ollie the Tiger dominates your view. Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Um, if I were a clue, I'd hide in the trash can. Grimacing, you peer into the overflowing trash can. Her existence. You dig through the garbage, uncovering half eaten food, plastic bottles, and. <gasps> spray paint can that's the same color paint seriously they just threw the evidence away who did this i'm pretty sure morgan used this to decorate the homecoming banners she will not ruin my dance let's find her in a minute we need to make sure there's nothing else around if i were a clue i'd hide under a table you look around one of the red tables, searching for clues. Maybe this is something. Noteworthy clue. A noteworthy clue? Really? It's a notepad. This must be a clue. It's missing a page. Uh, Sebastian, we're at a school. Everyone has a notepad. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I guess some people keep their notes in a binder. I don't take notes. What a shocker. You glance back at the ground and throw a crumbled up piece of paper. Maybe this is the missing page. It's ripped in half. What does ours say? M. Don't forget. Deal. Paint. Or else. 
gets it? Or else who gets it? And who's M? Hmm, I don't see the other half. I don't think we'll find it here. Let's talk to Morgan. Morgan could be M. Maria could be M, but she's investigating with us. Mia could be M. I don't know. During lunch, you head to the cafeteria and find Morgan in the middle of eating a sandwich. Her hands are covered in red paint. Stop right there, Morgan. Morgan. You've been caught red-handed. I want to say it. <laughs> Look at your hands. They're covered in the same color. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I just happened to use the same kind of paint. We'll need more proof than that. I know my rights. Innocent until proven guilty. Besides, Ollie has amateur written all over him. A real graffiti artist would never write something as unoriginal as Barry sucks. You believe me, right, Michael? Everyone is everyone's a suspect, Morgan. Even you. Look, we just want to get to the bottom of this. Do you have an alibi for last night? Yeah. And that is... This. She throws a plastic bag into your hands. You pull out a familiar can of spray paint. Ooh. This is the same color we found in the courtyard. She could have just she could just have two cans of it. So don't blame me? Fine, I'll show you my work. It's just down the street. Now? But we can't leave campus during school hours? It's an hour and ever. Take your pick. Okay, but only because it's for the greater God. Mess. A few minutes later, at the nearby park. You took in the large canopy of trees as you walk down the brick parkway. Uh, Morgan points to the red graffiti initials painted on the sidewalk. This is what I've been working on. Those are your initials. See, like I said, I happen to use the same paint as the culprit. That doesn't make me guilty. Besides, I don't give a crap about school rivalry and whoever did this obviously has ties to hers. Sorry for jumping to conclusions. So if you didn't paint Ollie, who did? Mia, obviously. Cheer princess? Hmm, yeah, can't, I can't see it. I can see it. Oh, I said I can see it. Really? I can't. It doesn't seem like something she'd do. Come on, who else has ties to hers like her? She used to go there, her brother's captain of their football team, and her dad's principal. Wait, what? Her family's all hers? But she goes to Barry. Oh yeah, it was this huge thing when she transferred. Her family was a bit controlling and transferring was her chance to take matters into, in her own hands. You could say her dad and her brother Max weren't too happy about it. But she still could have reverted back to the dark side. Mia has too many connections to ignore. We should at least check her out. Isn't she like on crutches though? Back at school during your free period. You enter Mia's gym class, she sits on the bench, her crutch is lying beside her, she yells at her classmates playing base basketball. What kind of shot was that? I swear I could make that if, if I could actually walk. She casts her gaze downward at her cast before looking back at the match. Mia sighs heavily as you approach. What do you want? We need to get to the bottom of this. Why'd you mess with all your tiger? Me? You seriously think I did that? I don't think. I know. Oh my god, Maria, you jump. Just a bit of evidence, I have my doubts. I just, uh, I mean, I'm on the Shirley squad. I'm about to piss off Mia. I just don't see you betraying Barry High. I can see how much you care about being here. Seriously, Sebastian? Way to back me up. Sebastian's right. I love this school. I left everything behind despite my family's objections to come here. I'd never do anything to hurt it. Not to mention I'm injured, remember? There's no way on earth I'd be able to hobble around and spray paint Ollie. Yeah, that'd be hard. <laughs> Back to square one. We're no closer to finding out who did this than when we started. Have you already asked Wes? If anyone at the school has information, it'll be him. She's right. I learned everything about staying in the know from him. I might not know our mystery painter, but I bet Wes does. All right, I'll take his word for it. Let me shoot him a text. Sebastian, Wes, let's meet up. We got to talk about the statue. I was meeting your phone buzzes with a reply from Wes. Diner, 10 minutes after the final bell. Grab a booth. We have a lead. Do, 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 do. I'm a spy. 20 minutes after school ends at the diner. You sit at one of the booths top 
Tapping your foot restlessly. Okay, once well, it's been longer than 10 minutes. Where are you? Wait, he's waiting for us outside. I'll go check. She exits the diner, leaving you along with Michael. He runs his hands through his hair and smirks at you. I've got to say, it's pretty awesome that you're so dedicated to the cause. Oh my god, I love this. We're going to have a moment. Oh snap. Okay, uh, what am I going to say? Was that an actual compliment? No, I'm going to say I don't like to see you hurt. Oh! oh my god. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. I'm glad this this him actually coming along is actually doing something. You've got a special connection with Ali, and I'm sad when you're sad. You'd really do all of this for me? Yeah, I would. I am. You're something else, Sebastian. A good something else, I hope. To be determined, but yeah, I think so. so. Michael I says the diner door, then turns to you. He places his arm on the backrest right behind you. Before Mary gets back, I want to say thanks. For what? You know, for inviting me to tag along. It's been surprisingly fun. But don't let Maria hear that. Of course, when I want to tarnish your reputation. What else does a guy like me have? Oh my gosh, I love that. You smile at Michael, noticing how, he cl how close he is. His hand hesitates next to your shoulder before playfully punching it. You're alright, Sebastian. Ah! Uh, just alright. Suddenly, the diner door swings open. Maria stomps in and sits across from you and Michael. Two of you turn to face her, but Michael smirks and leaves his arm against the backrest. Maria glances from you to Michael and then back to you. <laughs> Uh, I didn't interrupt anything, right? Yes! Yes, you did! Ah! I guess not. Doesn't matter anymore. Any luck finding Wes? Nope, this is such a waste of time. Meanwhile, the actual vandal is getting away. I'll bet that Wes is just running late. I trust Wes. He probably got cut up with Adam or something. Whatever it is, I'm sure he'll be here soon. I doubt it. This could be some sort of scheme of his. Just you wait. Any moment he's going to walk through those doors and do, 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 prove you wrong. Wes lies in the booth beside About time you showed up. Ever heard of punctuality? Uh, I'm never late. Everyone else is just early. <laughs> so do you know who spray painted Ollie the Tiger? Yep. So who did it? I could say, but it'll cost you. You can't just do this one thing out of the kindness of your heart. And if I cut you slack, then the next guy's gonna want a discount, and then the guy after that? It's just bad for business. All things come with a price. What can you offer? Who are you, Rumble Stilskin? Anyway, you start digging through your pockets, taking out whatever you manage to find. Um, let's see here. How about... 51 cents, question mark? <laughs> I can contribute a ticket to homecoming. And 10 cents. <laughs> he turns out his pockets and tosses a couple folded up pieces of paper onto the table. Wes picks it up, skimming their contents. Eh, this is old news. Keep up, Michael. You're losing your touch. It's hard to keep up with the best. Fire will get you everywhere with most people, but... That's all you guys can offer? I guess you don't want this that, that bad. Come on, Wes. You're our only hope. Alright, fine. We got a deal, but only because I kind of want that ticket to homecoming for Autumn. Wes scoops up the loose items on the table. For what you paid, all I can tell you is, look at Lewis. Lewis? Oh, yeah. This is where I realized who it was, by the way, guys. <laughs> on the first playthrough, when, when I was like, connected to Lewis, I figured it out. Uh-huh. It all leads back to him. See you around. Before you can ask Wes anything else, he stands up and leaves the diner. Do you really think Lewis could have done this? There's only one way to find out. No. Lewis isn't the type, but very much this other person. Back at campus in the computer lab. Lewis in the middle of a Legends of Clan Clancraft match. He barks orders out to his teammates through his mic. Enemies inbound on the Western Tower. Someone cover me. I'm going in. Hey, Lewis, we need to talk. No can do. They're flanking us. Min minions on your sex. You're playing games at a time like this? 
It's not just a game. We're taking on the Rampage Warriors. That's that. Maria slams her hands on either side of his keyboard, blocking Lewis's view of the monitor. Maria, move. We're about to win. I don't care. It's been a long day, and I'm not going to get to the bottom. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this now. That means talking to you. I'm going to pull back Maria back. Grab Maria by the shoulders and pull her away from the computer. <laughs> just give him a minute. Fine. Thanks, Sebastian. Let me just kill these enemies. Kapow! Match over. Barry Knights win. Now that that's finished, we really need to talk. You got my full attention. What's up? Did you probably paint Ollie the Tiger? You think I did that? What said to look for you? It couldn't have been me. I was playing Legends of Craft with Nishan and Sakura all night. We're, go we're gearing up for Clan Rumble in a few months. So it's been... Oh my god, Legends of Clan Craft? <laughs> and so it's been non-stop practice. A likely story. Look at the logs if you don't believe me. I'm telling the truth. What did Wes mean by look at Lewis then? Hmm, maybe it's someone who's connected to him. I know, it's gotta be. It is Myra, the girl in the purple there. Because Sakura and Nishan were obviously with him playing the game at the time. It's not Emma, that doesn't make any sense. Also, it's the M thing on the notepad paper that we got leads to Myra, who is Lewis's best friend. So it's gotta be what mess meant. She's your best friend after all, and her name begins with M. It all makes sense. Now that you mention it, she was supposed to be part of her last night's raid, but she never got online. She wasn't answering my text or anything. About time we found our culprit. Let's go talk to her. Last I saw, she was in the band room. This is not a long episode, y'all. I don't know. I feel like this investigation has been like draining. Like, can we just not? <laughs> You find Myra practicing a familiar tune on the trombone. She sees you enter and her face drops. She stops playing and stares judicially at the ground. Hey Myra, can we talk? I think you have an idea why we're here. You know it was me. Yeah, we do. All the clues led us here. Let me explain. Myra, hey, as you a wad up piece of paper, the page is missing its other half. You take out the note from earlier and line it up. It's a match. Myra, don't forget our deal. Paint Ollie or else Lewis gets it. Who wrote this? Brian and his hearse friends. They cornered me after school earlier this week and told me they'd hurt Lewis if I didn't listen. Then that... Why did you go to fucking... Why did she go to the authorities? Why did she go to the police? Why did she go to her teacher, the principal? Somebody. Mess. Then that and the spray paint can showed up in my bag yesterday and so I... I'm so, so sorry. I, you don't... You have to believe me. I didn't want to do it, but I couldn't let Brian do anything to Lewis. Why am I not surprised this is Brian's fault? Hmm, I don't know. Because he goes to Hearst? I know what I did was wrong, but if Lewis got hurt, I couldn't handle knowing I was the reason behind his pain. He's... He's my he's my best friend. But now the entire school's mad over the snatcher. I don't think I could take it if everyone knew it was me. Maybe you should have thought about that before you listened to Brian. What would you have done in my shoes? It was a lose-lose situation. No, there's a th there's always another option, homegirl. I'm begging you. Don't tell him once else I did it. I can't bear to see the look on Lewis's face if he finds out it was me. I'm sorry, but we have to report this to Principal Hughes. Everyone has to face their consequences of their actions. Can't you just let it slide this one time? You don't get it. There's a lot more about that statue than meets the eye. Someone has to pay for it. I know, but it all leads back to Brian. I grabs your arm, looking at you pleadingly. Please, Sebastian, I'm begging you. Yeah, honestly, I'm never going to be in a person. I don't think I'd ever be in a situation where I keep her secret on this one because I feel like there this was not a lose-lose situation. You could have found your way out of it. And I cannot, and I obviously agree with Maria and Michael that she needs to, like, handle the consequences of it. I'm going to have to turn you in. Sorry, Myra. Everyone's got to own up to their actions. I understand. Sorry, Myra. Everyone's got their time and your number's up. I wish it wasn't, but I get it. <laughs> Come on, let's go talk to Principal Hughes. Myra follows you to the principal's office. You sit across from Hughes. Welcome, children. Here, have a candy. Principal Hughes puts the bowl of sweets toward you. Uh, thanks, Principal Hughes, but we need to talk to you about Ollie the Tiger. The poor fellow. I talked to Principal Warren at Hearst, and he guarantees me not a single child there would ever do such a horrible, no good, very bad thing. 
That's a load of crap. <laughs> what Michael meant to say is that no one hurts. No one hurt. Whoa. What Michael meant to say is that no one at Hearst did this? Yeah. It was me. I spray painted all like These little, like, grammar errors and, like, words missing are throwing me off. Myra, please explain yourself, young lady. Brian and a couple guys from Hearst threatened to hurt my friend if I didn't comply. They set me up. That is a serious accusation. It's all true, but no one at Hearst is going to admit that about their star quarterback, though. Hmm. Well, I'll discuss this with Principal Warren. As for your punishment, Myra, you'll be required to clean up Ollie as well as serve on the homecoming committee. And I'll be calling your parents and tell them what you did. It beats being expelled. I guess we'll be seeing a lot of more of each other. I'm not sure if I should be excited or quaking with fear. Probably both. Both. Definitely both. <laughs> I love that that came up after I said that. <laughs> Friday after school. You follow Maria to her locker. She retrieves her backpack and a few textbooks. I feel so much better now that we solved the case. Same, but I never thought I'd, it'd be Myra. And always the ones you least suspect. Bzz, bzz. Your phone buzzes at the exact mo same moment as Maria's. Michael, meet me in the science lab, lab now. What could he want? You and Maria quickly make your way and find Michael, Emma, Aiden, Caleb, Caleb, Julian, and Mia all waiting for you. About time you showed up, slow pokes. So now you can share your master plan with everyone. Yeah, I was fi finally making some progress on my composition when I got your tax. What do you need us here for? I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I got it all planned out. It's time to get some revenge on hers tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm more here for this revenge chapter. I'm very, very here for it. Next time in high school story, you and your friends pull a heist on Hearst and run into an unexpected visitor. Very here for it. Because, yeah, so that chapter was completely the investigation, but I really did like that little moment we got with Michael where he put his arm behind us, like, kind of behind us in the backrest, and I got to, like, tell him, like, hey, I have, like, feels, I feel for you, man. I don't know. I'm here for it. I'm here for me and Michael right now. Like, I, I need more of it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Maybe some interesting things can happen on the heist. We'll say. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. And hope y'all enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, like the video. It'd be great. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.